My teacher called my work bad and my attitude even worse. It then got featured in the biggest art gallery in the country. I might not be in the right cell. My art teacher said I wasn't good enough so I worked my damn hardest to prove him wrong in the summary. Context. The school I go to is well respected in my country, so it was not uncommon for venues to request to display a student's work or to ask for students to sing live for them. On the equation in question, the largest art gallery in the country, Gallery X, has asked my school to submit inspired art to be out on display. The school agreed and said that they would submit five pieces of work, one piece per year for years 9 to 13. Back to the story. I hated art gallery art, but it was a mandatory subject until you got to choose your subjects in year 10. Needless to say, I dropped the subject as soon as possible. Despite hating the subject, I still put effort into my work and some of it wasn't that bad. However, at the same time, I would not hide away from expressing my views when we were given a task that I didn't see a point to, even if the teacher was in earshot. Needless to say, my relationship with the art department faculty wasn't the best. My teacher at the time particularly had it in for me. He was one of those teachers that has the view that their spell should be your most important subject, regardless of your future ambitions. If he thought that you weren't prioritizing art, then he would make your life hell. Yet again, I hated art as a subject. He knew this, but I would still do any work set to the best of my ability. We had just finished a project where we had to mix different pigments to create our own unique color. Being color blind, I struggled a lot as I literally could not differentiate between half of the pigments. I gave it my all but ended up giving up halfway through the project. My teacher hated me for giving up. In his defense, he had tried to make it as easy as possible for me, but I hated the subject and saw a way out so I took it. My teacher was beyond mad. When we went to hand the project in he gave me a lecture about how I need to put in more effort and work harder because of the quality of work was unacceptable. Remember, I literally couldn't see half of the project. Once the project was finished, my teacher told us that Gallery X has asked that we create some inspired art. We were basically shown five different paintings that we were supposed to recreate in our own way. This was a big first about this. People are saying that our schools would be giving us scholarships that they were the $10,000 reward and other nonsense that 14 years old make up. But nevertheless, everyone wanted to be the one have their painting in Gallery X. So for the next month and a half in my art classes, we worked an hour piece. After the first week of working my piece, the excitement of the new project wore off and so, my, and so did my eagerness in lessons. My teacher noticed this and went from complimenting my work to yelling about what I was doing wrong. By the fourth week, I was over the project and just wanted to be done with this. With two weeks left on the project, my teacher pulls me aside to tell me that my work isn't good enough and I need to improve it. I tried to improve, but he kept on better me. So out of arrogance and spite, I made art my most important subject until the end of the project. I dragged myself to each lesson quietly working myself to the bone, counting down the days until the deadline of the project. After what seemed like a year to 14 year old me, the second last lesson arrives. This lesson was not for the final touches or anything like that. My teacher had decided that he, will, he should review what each student has done well and where they could have improved. He walks from the classroom, complimenting everyone's work until he gets to mine. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I'm pretty sure none of it was positive. I do remember, however, he finished talking about mine. You can tell that OP hasn't given this any thought and hasn't taken this seriously. That sounded like a teach, because yes, I had lost interest in it, but I had still worked hard in lessons and given it my best shot. The bell that went and I scrolled out of the class with my tail between my legs. The last lesson finally comes and I can't wait to be over with this stupid project. This lesson was the big one too. The judges from Gallery X were coming to school to judge all of his work. They come into our class, do all the formalities. These all look so good. I have no idea how we can decide on only one. Then they start walking around the room muttering to each other. The whole class stood silently at the back trying to hear what they are saying. They do a full lap of the room, then walk back over to my spot. I don't even notice that as I had tuned out after they had looked at the second painting. Then they ask the teacher whose work they are stood over. He looks at them almost in disbelief as he gestures to me. I snap out of my daydream and just smile politely with no idea what is going on. The judges then confer for a while, whilst my teacher and a friend will try and figure out what is going on. Finally, after about 5 minutes of mumbling, they say that they would want to shortlist it to potentially be shown in gallery X. I look on at them in shock, then yet again smile politely and say thank you. 
I cannot begin to describe the look on my teacher's face. I don't think I have ever seen someone more confused, angry, and disappointed all the time. My teacher then begrudgingly thanks the judges and walks them to the door. He thanks them again as I leave them, stumbles back to the class. He doesn't even congratulate me on my work. He just defeatedly says, Good work, everyone. As I wrote ill, put on a documentary for you all to watch. And I did just that not saying another thing until the end of the class. Later on that week, I got an email from Gallery X asking for my permission to display my work, which I happily said yes to. To sum it up, the work that he disrespected and said that no effort into was selected from 192 others got featured in the biggest art gallery in the country. Hope you enjoyed.